All right, so this is lentil 24, what we just talked about. We're going to move on to lentil 25, which is this one. So again, these were above the doorway, not above the doorway like I'm in, I was initially envisioning like above my doorway here in my room. They were more above the doorway like the ceiling tiles are in my room. That's how they were placed in the temple. So they were commissioned by the ruler of this city, and um, they record both in text and image, again, in the glyphs on the upper end of the lintel. And this, the ruler at that time was Shield Jaguar II, and his wife is dressed here. This is his wife down here. And she is dressed in very elaborate costume and head dressing. And the bloodletting that I discussed in the previous lintel was very common in, in Mayan life and the essential part of their rulership. It was a requirement of these leaders to do this. And so I explained about the stingray or the flint stone or bone or obsidian or whatever it was that it was attached to the rope that they pulled through and it came through their tongue. There was a hole in their tongue. And often these... Uh, whatever it was, the stingray uh, spine, the flint, the bone, the obsidian, whatever it was, was often buried with them. That's how precious, precious it was. So they were bloodletting to feed the gods. This was part of their requirements as leaders in this culture. This was an actual, uh, this ceremony, this particular ceremony, was the dedication ceremony of this building. Or this ceremony could have happened um, at the birth of children. And they needed, these rulers, they needed to shed the blood in order to maintain order in the cosmos, or so they believed. They were believed to be descendants of gods, so in other words, gods on earth. And this bloodletting was a critical importance in maintaining the power and the order in their community. The loss of blood and the burning of the incense produced hallucinations. So this is where the incense would have been placed on her face, or not the incense itself, but the, the sheets of paper, and then they would have burned it, and it would have created this hallucination, and they may have drank uh, cactus juice or something like that, peyote, something similar to what the Native Americans did, to create this conjuring of what's happening. This would have been held at night. The ceremony would have been held at night in a private chamber in this temple. And only few would have been present for this. So this helps us to understand a little bit more about what is actually happening. Here she is. She's kneeling. Here's the basket that has the papers, probably also the string that she had pulled through with the obsidian or bone or whatever it was that she had thrown, put through her, her tongue. And here is this snake that's coming up, and his mouth is open here. And out of the mouth is a warrior, and he is pointing his sword at her. And up here is his very elaborate headdress. He is wearing lots of jewels. You can see he's got earrings. He has... Uh, probably a pectoral. She is too. She's very elaborately dressed. And you can also see the glyphs here on the top that would have been explaining what's going on here. And so this, she has conjured this up. She is hallucinating uh, probably from the loss of blood, from <clears throat> perhaps something that she drank. Like I said, the cactus juice, like peyote. Um, so certainly she's... Uh, created this. This is not something that they are depicting that happened in real life. This is an actual, um, something, a conjuring that she's bringing this snake and this warrior coming out of the snake's mouth. What is unusual about this glyph up here is that it's in mirror image, which tells us that, which was really rare, uh, for Mayan culture to have 
glyphs in mirror image. And so we understand that to mean that they're making a connection with here on earth and a connection in another realm, you know, um, you know, in heaven, that type of thing. This would have been brightly painted in turquoise and blue and reds. And so we would have been able to read it a little bit better. It's hard to understand exactly what's going on here. You can see a little bit of the paint coming through. <clears throat> 